All right, welcome back everybody to Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. This is going to be another episode of Shotcut Tutorial. Uh, today, I think we're going to go over uh, reversing your films. And as always, remember to like, share, and subscribe. You can hit that notification icon to get a notification of my videos as soon as they're released. That way you don't miss it. I'm going to go ahead and open up Shotcut. I'm going to pause it until it's open. Okay, once again, we want to go ahead and open up our playlist. Uh, go ahead and open up your Explorer and find the video that you're looking for that you either took with your camera, or your uh, cell phone, whatever. Um, I Like I said, I say this all the time, um, but I think it's just much easier if you go to your desktop, make a folder, call it Video Projects, or whatever and throw all of your uh, videos inside that folder because it's just much easier to get to when you're working with shotcut uh, I have a folder called shotcut tutorial uh, and the one we are going to use is this one here I'm going to drag it over into the playlist okay I'm going to use this video here this is one that my grandson did for me um, I videoed it I had him crush the can I don't have much strength in my left hand anymore uh, I know it's a stupid little pop can but um, uh, he did it for me it was perfect so uh, we're gonna work with this uh, I will click and hold and drag it down and drop it into my timeline okay come on come on baby there you go as you guys can see it is a very short video uh, total time is 9 seconds, 9.29 seconds. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to actually make this video, I want to show it being crushed, then I want to show it being reversed, then I want to show it being crushed again. Okay, so basically what you do is you click on the video that you want to reverse. Uh, now we want to make a double of that. Okay, how do you do that? Well, you press Control C and then Control V. That will make a duplicate of the video you just made. Um, okay, we're going to go ahead and make another one. Control C, Control V. And But this one here is the one I want reversed. I'm going to have it run straight, and I'm going to have it reversed, and then run straight again. So I'm going to click on this. You want to highlight that video that you want to reverse, and then you want to go to Properties here, or you can click on Properties here, or you can actually right-click Properties here. Either one will work. Now, depending on what version of Shotcut you're using, I think the older versions, you have to actually uh, hit this and then go down to the bottom. It'll say Reverse, but on the version I'm running, it actually has this button here. So I'm going to click Reverse. It's going to ask me what I'm going to pick best. <laughs> and it's going to say large file. I'm going to click OK. It's going to ask where I want it to be saved at. I'm going to choose desktop. Reversed. Click save. You'll see it starting up here. And I will be back when it is done. Okay, it is done. Um, it actually records two files. I don't understand that whole thing, but uh, it does. Uh, and if I was to just, just try to play the center one, it's still the same. As you guys can see, the sound and everything is still the same. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead... Let me get rid of this real quick. I'm going to go ahead and save this project. And uh, it always saves to, uh, let me see, Documents and Shotcut. And we're, we're going to call it um, Reverse underscore Video. Guys, anytime you are writing names for a file name, always underscore. Now, a folder name, you can put spaces. You can't have spaces under a file name. It's always underscore. Okay, we're going to click save. You'll see it's saving that project. <clears throat> now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my playlist, and I'm going to add another folder in here, or another video in here, and I'm going to go to my desktop, and I want to look for that video that we created just now. Okay, we are going to drag that over, 
and there it is. Now, I'm going to actually drag this out. It shouldn't be any different. I should be able to delete this one, put that one in. But I'm going to drag this. I'm just going to click on it. Click on it. Get it highlighted. Come on. There we go. And I'm just going to drag it a little bit, okay? Now, what I want to do is I want to click on this one. I want to right-click, and we're going to say lift. That will leave me an empty space. Now, I want to double-click on the video I just pulled in up here. There she is. Sorry my computer's so slow, guys. Now I'm going to click and drag that down into this area here. Give it some time. Sorry. Boy, if I had a good computer, man, this I would be uploading more videos, guys, honestly. <laughs> okay, I'm going to pause this until everything... Well, there it is. Okay. Now, notice... It's the exact same video, but notice how the sound bars are different. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to remove this. Okay, now I'm actually going to uh, create a little transition here. Now, this is the only transition I know how to do in Shotcut so far. Um, let me get rid of that again. But I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, I'm going to click on this, and I'm going to hold it and drag it just until it overlaps like that on the other video. Then I'm going to let it go like that. Okay. Now I'm going to click here. I'm going to get rid of this little green area by right-clicking and click on Remove. Now I'm going to grab this one here. We're going to highlight it, and then I'm going to drag it over this one as well, just a little bit for a little transition. Now this is the video I want, so I'm going to go ahead and export this video because we're just making it simple, advanced. Uh, this is 4K, so we're going to make it uh, 1080p, so we're going to go... Uh, 1920 by 1080, 16 by 9, uh, frames are right, good, um, everything's good, I want this on best, and we're going to say export file, and we're going to put it on the desktop, and we're going to say reverse video dash finished, and click save you'll see it right here and I'm gonna pause it we'll be back when it's done all right our video is done uh, we are gonna go ahead and take a look at it real quick let me get rid of this so we can actually see the video uh, it should be on the desktop uh, let's see not nope 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 let me find it reverse video right here let's play it Now you can't get rid of the sound, uh, you can, you can mute it, but whenever you reverse something, it's going to reverse it with the sound. So guys, there you have it, that is how you put a reverse in your video. Uh, I hope you liked this tutorial, uh, if you did guys and it helped you out in any way, you know, hit that like button, uh, share my video, uh, and you know, hey, if you want, you know, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Um, again, this is Hayes Tech and ROM Reviews. Uh, I will see you guys on the next video.